Hi, I'm Benjamin 26 and welcome back to the channel for your daily race A guide at Fuji Speedway in the Mitsubishi GTO. Let's get straight into this. Ok, so we're coming down the main straight. Just a tip, be careful of your gear changes up, it is quite easy to miss your gears. Right, we're coming into our first braking zone, we're looking to brake at the black tyre mark on the left hand side. I'm going to drop down the gears and drop down to second. Now I like to drop down to first gear to get some rotation in and then a quick upshift into second. This really bites into the track and I can really get on the power early and we're using that kerb as well to bring us round and ride it out to the outside kerb. Straighten it up and come down to our next left. We're looking to brake just before the tyre mark again and swing it in at the end just manage your brake, manage your throttle and once you've gone past that kerb you can then get on the power take advantage of the kerb on the outside this next right, you're just coming off the power let it turn in and as we're coming in we're just gradually getting on the power and hit that path you can get full on the power up to the next braking point, braking about the 60 meters turning in, dropping down a second trying to catch this kerb let the car come round, now you can get on the power. Open up your steering and take advantage of the kerb on the right hand side. Come round, swing round to the right, just clipping the kerb, keep it tight, clip the next kerb. And we're looking to brake just under the yellow banner. Dropping down the gears. Again, I, lo I like to drop to first here, um, really get the rotation and up to second, and it again bites into the track. Really try and cut as much of that kerb as you can. Now we're looking just to lift off and then get back on the power as soon as we can. Again, catching that kerb, let it help the car rotate round. Now we're looking to brake just before the green strip of AstroTurf. Turning in, gentle on the throttle, and once you've hit this green AstroTurf, full back on the power, the car will swing round, trust it to come round. Now we're looking to brake just after the kerb on the left ends. Let it ride out to the right, come coasting into the corner, and as you catch in that corner, back on the throttle, full throttle, coming up to the final corner, looking to brake when you see the orange barrier on the left disappear from the screen. I take the middle line here, there are lots of lines through this corner, but this one worked for me on this particular lap. Again, you're just trying to catch this bit of astro turf on the kerb, full power, straighten up the car as soon as you can, and power straight down the track. And this should bring us home for a 203.923. So as you can see on the leaderboard, we're just outside the top 10 world times. But there is something though I want to highlight. You see these top two times, these are pretty fake times. Um, it doesn't sit too well with me. I want to show you what I mean. So here we go. We're following the number one time. Instead of taking the hairpin and the chicane, it just decides to bypass all of it. Yeah, and as you can see, he's basically just taken two to three seconds off his time by doing that. Um, it wasn't just him, number two has done it as well. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like it. Um, but, you know, in the end, he's only cheating himself. But, you know, he's put a massive, massive gap on the leaderboard now. And PD really, really need to look at this. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope this has helped you to improve your lap time. If it has, give a like and maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye now.